Hallelujah. I believe everyone in this place is excited. Amen. It's great to be back. Pwede bang batiin natin yung katabi natin pero wala muna pong handshake. Dahil uh, sumusunod tayo sa ating social distancing at sa ating mga safety guidelines. Pwede bang hawakan natin ang ating puso? Yan, gawin natin tong gesture na to at batiin natin yung katabi natin. Good morning! It feels great to be here. Amen! Hallelujah. Well, I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, that your church is your right environment. Pwede ba sabihin natin yun? My church is my right environment. And I tell you today from James 1 verses 2 and 3, it says, Consider it pure joy. Come on, everybody say, pure joy. Pure joy. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Pwede bang sabihin mo, perseverance. Hallelujah. Amidst this current pandemic situation, nandito ka ngayon, nakatayo ka, and you are here, and God can give you joy. Amen? God can give you peace. God can give you hope. Sino dito yung nangangailangan ng kalakasang nanggagaling sa Panginoon? Kung nangangailangan ka ngayon, come on, begin to clap your hands to God because God is bigger than your fears. Hallelujah.
sun for the light flowers before the opening to the sun above come on we say joyful
let this be a genuine worship that you really believe. I believe in you. I believe in you. You're the God of miracles. You are the God of miracles. I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again? Cause all I want is all you are. Will you meet me here again? Sing it from the bottom of your heart. I'm not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again? We cry out, cause all I want is all you want. Will you meet
and in spirit and in truth. Father. And God, we thank you. We give thanks to you because we know the praise and worship pa lamang po ay gumalaw ka na at nagparanas ka na sa buhay ng bawat isa. God, you are good. You are faithful. You are our miracle working God and you never change. And we glorify you. We lift up your name on high. Come on, everybody, shout and say, Amen. Testify about God's goodness and to encourage everyone about giving. I want to uh, bring you to Proverbs chapter 10, verses 3, 6, 22, and 28. In the Passion Translation, it says, The Lord satisfies the longings of all his lovers, but he withholds from the wicked what their souls crave. The lover of God is enriched beyond belief, but the evil man only curses his love. True enrichment comes from the blessing of the Lord with rest and contentment in knowing that it all comes from Him. Lovers of God have a joyful face of gladness, but the ungodly see their hopes vanish right before their eyes. So, ano po ba yung uh, nilulong ng heart natin? Ano ba yung mga matagal na nating uh, ipinapanalangin kay Lord na hindi pa natutupad? Ang sabi po niya dito, uh, magalak po tayo na meron tayong Diyos dahil sa Kanya naman po nagmumula ang lahat ng mga uh, magagandang bagay. Ang sabi po dito, the lover of God is enriched beyond belief. Kaya po ba nating maniwala kahit sa panahon po ngayon ng pandemic na kaya pong ibigay ng Panginoon ang mga ipinapanalangin po natin. Ang sabi niya, true enrichment comes from the blessing of the Lord. no? And with rest and contentment in knowing that it all comes from Him. Kahit po hindi pa dumarating yung mga ipinagpipray natin, magkaroon po sana tayo ng pananampalataya na uh, sa tamang panahon, pagkakalubo ito ng Panginoon sa atin. And because we are true lovers of God, ang sabi niya dito, makaka-experience po tayo ng joyful feast of gladness. And uh, gusto ko pong i-share recently yung po na-experience namin sa family. Uh, just the other day po, uh, nakuha na po namin yung pong asasakyan para sa mama po namin. Praise the Lord. Isa po siyang bago-bago ang uh, Toyota Vios. Brand po ito. And uh, Masaya-masaya po kami magkakapatid na uh, natupad na po itong pangarap ng aming uh, mama and uh, hindi po rin namin inasahan na magagawa po namin ito or maibibigay ito sa kanya and uh, masaya po kami, masaya si mama and lahat po ito no, dahil po sa kabutihan po ng Panginoon sa aming po buhay. Ang sabi niya dito, si Lord ang nagsasatisfy ng lahat ng longings ng mga tao ang umiibig sa kanya. So, I want to encourage everyone um, hindi po, uh, dahil hindi pa natin nakukuha, ay titingin na po tayo sa pagsiserve kay God, sa pagbibigay sa Kanya. At hindi po masasayang lahat po ng mga prayers, lahat po ng mga love offerings, mga uh, first fruit natin na binibigay sa ating pong simbahan. So, let me pray for you. Father in heaven, salamat po sa pagkakataon na kami po ay makapagbigay. Isa po ang privilegio at karangalan sa amin na mapaglingkuran ka at maparangalan ka sa pamamagitan ng aming pong mga uh, possessions at ng aming pong mga finances. Ito pong aming mga ipagkakaloob. Ito po ay mga seed, Panginoon. Ano man po ang ipinapanalangin ng aking mga kapatid sa panahon ito ng pandemya. Sa tamang panahon, alam ko, Panginoon, kagaya ng sinabi mo sa Proverbs, ikaw po yung magbibigay ng lahat ng mga ito at piyak po na magbibigay rin ito sa amin ng tunay na kagalakan. Kaya maraming salamat po sa lahat ng magbibigay, Panginoon. Nakikita mo ang kanilang mga puso at ang uh, motivation nila sa pagbibigay at pagkakaloob. Maraming salamat po muli sa pangalan ng Jesus. Amen.
Continue putting God first through your giving as it is quick, easy, and secure. You may give through our BDO bank account. Deposit or transfer directly to our account number 00435-020-5732. Our account name is City Sanctuary Eastgate Church Incorporated. You may also give via PayPal through this QR code on your screens right now. Or give via GCash through 0916-272-6474. We pray for a hundredfold return of your generosity. As it is said in 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6, Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Thank you once again for investing into the lives of others. Come on, welcome to El Shalom and City Sanctuary. Why don't we all stand up on our feet? Type on tumayo. Wala mo ng kamayan, wala mo ng hawakan. I want you to place your hand dito sa ating mga puso. And I want you to greet your, the person beside you. Good morning. At sabihin mo sa kanya, I miss you. At sabihin mo sa kanya, mahal na mahal kita sa Panginoon. Come on. Everybody, everybody say these words. Lord, I love you. And then tell your neighbor, I love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. I Alam niyo po, I can imagine na gusto ko kayong yakapin. I've been missing every one of you. But praise the Lord, we are here in El Shalom. Uy, brother, ready? Sige po, titigan niyo lang katabi mo. At sabihin mo sa kanya, mahal na mahal kita sa Panginoon. Lord, a blessed day to each and every one of you. And I want to greet the people who are now in our DG Church because today, tayo po ay nasa in-person gathering for our rescue mission and also, tayo po ay nasa digital. So I want to greet the people who are now in our DG Church. But first, okay, kunin po natin yung ating mga cellphone, yung mga may data. We will like and we will heart our our FB live streaming this day. Yan. Sige po. Mabilisan lang. Yan. I can see people na nag-heart. Ganitong ganito po ang nakikita nyo tuwing nanonood po kayo. Naalala nyo nung nanonood kayo sa mga TV nyo? Alright. Now, in the count of three, we are going to share. Mag-share po tayo. Because I believe when we share sa ating mga timeline, tayo po ay nag influence ng mga tao na hindi namin kakilala. Wala kaming idea kung sino sila, but the Word of God ay may spread sa kanila. So, in the count of three, tayong lahat po ay mag-share. Are you ready? One, two, and come on, let's share. There you go. Amen. I can see shares. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Now, subscribe to our YouTube channel and please follow us on Twitter. And please retweet, okay? At happy birthday po kay Sister Lot Gampoy. Nandito ba siya? Sister Tricia Molina, Joy Marquez, Sister Shena Enaga. Happy birthday po kay Doms Manyala. Yun, Angelo. And also Lucas Basa and Rosady Fabian. And I want to shout out sa Maralit family. <laughs> Nandito ba sila? Also, ano po, sa mga Solomon family. At nice po mag-shout out sa aking phone. So, sa aking pong phone. Nice po mag-hello kay Brother Mon, Angel Espinosa, kay Sister Risa Grace Nara, Sister Nix Garcia Simbulan. At magandang araw din po kay Maika Mendoza, kay Nix Espinosa, kay Yules Bito. Nandito siya. Okay, kay Caitlin Tubaon, kay Aileen Mon.
Montemayor, kay Lala Pangan, yes, Mark Lingad, Maika Rugayan, also kay Kate Tubuan, there you go. And I want to say hello to Angel Espinosa, Sister Liz Celis, Lala Pangan, Christine Barinke. Also to Sister Ivy Galura, sa lahat po ng mga primary ritual, mga cell leaders na nandito ngayon, at sa aking pamilya, kay Pastor Melba, kay Daddy Pastor na nanunod ngayon, kay Bumbum, kay, kay Joshua, at sa lahat po ng aming pamilya sa El Shalom and City Sanctuary, we love you and we believe that God has a word for each and every one of us. Amen. Palakpan po natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. We are on live today, so thank you for Light TV for becoming God's channel of blessing to our church. Lahat po tayo taas natin ating mga kamay. Forget your home right now. Forget your work and focus to our King. Just begin to focus to Him right now. At sabihin mo, Panginoon, dumalo ako. Nandito ako ngayon. Sa iyong presensya dahil gusto ko na mayroong mabago sa aking buhay. Na may mangyari sa aking kaisipan. Yung perspective ko, Lord, sa buhay, sa mga nangyayari, sa pandemya na ito, sa krisis na nangyari. Lord, palitan mo ang aking kaisipan. Baguhin mo ako at magparanas ka sa aking buhay sa araw na ito. And I am declaring God to every person who is watching via Light TV, who is watching right now via FB, YouTube, and to every person that is in this place, I am declaring the power of the Holy Spirit. It will come upon each and every one. Fire coming from heaven upon all of us. So Father, we believe that something good is going to happen in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people say, Amen and Amen. Praise God, we may be seated in the presence of God. Ngayong umaga na ito, mga kapatid sa Panginoon, sa araw na ito, I wanna talk about a message na parang isang contrast o paradox. I wanna talk about the word weak yet strong. Have you ever heard that word nangihina ka, nanghina ka, pinagdaanan ka ng problema pero ikaw pa rin ay malakas? Maybe some of you na nandito ngayon, an an ano yung ye, ano yung weak yet strong. I strongly believe that in my weakness, your strength, our Lord Jesus Christ, is made perfect. Tuwing merong isang tao na nangihina sa kanyang buhay dahil sa mga nangyari, meron tayong Dios na napakalakas na hindi ka pababayahan. That's why I want to I want you to see the story of King David in the book of Samuel. Makikita po natin to sa 2 Samuel chapter 3 verses verse 39. Uumpisan ko po sa verse 39 para mas maging malinaw sa atin ang salita ng Panginoon. Now, ang sabi po dito sa 39th verse, and I am weak today. Everybody see the word today. Though anointed king. Grabe. Anointed pero nang hina. And these men, the sons of Zeruya, are too harsh for me. Parang sinasabi ni Haring David, masyado silang salbahe sa akin ang sabi niya. The Lord shall repay the evildoer according to his wickedness. In this particular verse na nakikita niyo po, Ang sabi ni Haring David, I am weak today. Though I am anointed king. Though I am anointed, strong, and child of God. I am weak. Wow. Pusibli pala na ikaw ay pinagpala, ikaw ay anak ng Panginoon, pero dadaan ka sa panahon na pangihinaan ka ng loob. Every one of us 
has a today. Kaya nga sabi po ni Haring David, I am weak today. Everybody say once again, the word today. Today can become the pandemic of your life. Today can become the crisis. Yung nagkaroon ka ng crisis. That can be your today. Today is your family problem. May problema ka ba sa anak mo na siya ay parang nagwawala at nagwawala? That is your today. Sino dito ang nakakaranas ng financial difficulty? That is your today. Today is your problem with your disciple. Today is your problem with COVID-19, yung physical infirmities o yung tinatawag natin pong uh, limitations ng katawan nito because of this virus. Every one of us pwedeng makaranas ng today. But sometimes hindi natin nakikita that your today can become your weakest point. But we are still anointed. Weak yet strong. This can be your weakest day. But let me tell you that God is strong in your life. Mas maintindihan po natin to if we will understand the story of King David. Ano po yun? Ano po yung story ni Haring David? If you will look at the scripture, okay, at yung history po, the nation of Israel is divided into two kingdoms. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Si Haring David po ang hari ng southern kingdom. And then meron pong ibang hari sa northern kingdom. His heart's desire is pag-isahin ang bansang Israel. His heart's desire ay makita niya at yung dream niya na makita niya na ang bansang ito ay magkakaisa. Now, sa Northern Kingdom, yung pong chief military officer o yung parang sa atin po A AFP ano, officer yan, yung head of the chief of AFP nila, ang pangalan ay Abner. Everybody see the, word, the name Abner. And then, yung kanya naman pong chief of military o yung military officer po ni Haring David ay si Joab. Everybody say Joab. Si Joab at si Abner may alitan. Alam niyo bakit? Dahil si Joab ay mayroon pong kapatid. Ang pangalan ay si Asahel. Si Asahel ay namatay dahil pinatay ni Abner. Okay, huwag niyo na pong i-memorize sa mga pangalan. Okay, baka pangalan niyo pa sa mga, mga anak niyo. Abner, Israel, di ba? Huwag niyo lang pangalan ang Judas at Satanas, okay? Joke lang po. But si Joab, meron siyang sama ng loob. One day, Abner, yung chief of police na tinatawag ng Northern Israel, siya po ay nagpunta kay Haring David. At ang sabi niya kay Haring David, Haring David, gusto ko na tulungan ka na ang Israel ay magkaisa. Gusto ko na magkaisa na ang northern and southern. Let us join them together. Alam niyo, tuwang-tuwa po si Haring David. At ang sabi niya, come on, let's do it. I bless you, Abner. Sige, go in peace. Now, nung narinig ni Joab, Galing po sila sa isang digman, dumating siya sa palasyo at narinig ni Joab, sabi niya, dumating si Abner dito, eh may alitan yan eh. Nandiyan po ba kayo? Nakukuha niyo yung istorya, right? May alitan yung dalawa na yan. At ang sabi po ng word of God, pinatawag ni Joab si Abner and in verse 27 of 2 Samuel 20, verse 3, chapter 3 I may say, ang sabi po dito, now when Abner had returned to Hebron. Joab took him aside in the gate to speak with him privately and there stabbed him in the stomach so that he died for the blood of Asahel, his brother. So makikita natin ang istorya. May alitan, may galit, may frustrations, You know, may weakness po si Joab. Ang, siya po ay matipunong isang uh, commander-in-chief. Pero ang weakness niya ay yung nanakit sa kanyang pamilya. Every one of us, there is a weakness inside of us. Are you there, my friends? At alam niyo po, ang weakness na yan ni Joab naging weakness ni Haring David. That's why David said, Today, I am weak. Ako ay nangihina. Bakit? My dream to see our, the nation of Israel, my dream to see the northern and the southern kingdom na mag unite sila, they banish. Wala na. 
Everybody say the word weakness. Weakness may come from others. Baka ikaw may joab ka ng buhay mo. Baka ikaw meron kang, meron kang asahel ng buhay mo. Na nagsasanhi ng weakness mo. Weakness comes from situation. Ano bang sitwasyon mo sa buhay na nagkaroon ka ng pangihina? Ito bang COVID-19 na ito? Ito bang tinatawag na pandemya na walang ka ba ng trabaho? E, nagsara ba ang business mo at nanghina ka at parang ikaw ay tatalikod na sa Panginoon dahil ang dami-dami mong tanong. I, now I'm preaching to you. Alis na ako ng church. Ayoko na nangyayari sa buhay ko. Magbabackslide na ako. You know why? Because weakness comes from others. They come from situation and they come from Satan. Naalala niyo po ba si Job? Si Job po, he was tried. And Satan, ang Diablo, inflicted yung boils kay Job. Kaya mga kabatid, kung merong nakakaranas dito ngayon ng weakness, it may come from the enemy. But sometimes, pwede tong manggaling kay Lord. Ha? Huh? Lord, gusto mo sabihin, gusto mo akong masaktan? No. Sometimes God will allow weaknesses sa buhay mo para makapture ka niya muli. Nandiyan po ba kayo? That's why even merong weakness, God is still strong in your life. And the worst is, the weakness may come from you. Galing sa'yo. Ang pinakamasaklap yon, yung may ginagawa kang kasalanan, may ginagawa kang bagay na hindi ayon sa kalooban ni Lord, and that weakness is causing you, ano po, para mag-slip away ka sa gawain ng Panginoon. Pero nais ko po sabihin sa inyo, whatever weakness you have today, believe me my friends, God is stronger in your life. Mas malakas ang Panginoon because when I'm weak, He is strong. Everybody say Amen. Kaya nga sabi po ni Haring David, may dream ako, ito ang nakikita ko, but there is a big mess, there is a big division, may confusion na nangyayari. Ito ang nangyayari, si Joab nagkamali. At ang sabi po ni Haring David, I am weak today, but I am still anointed. Si Haring David ay isang hari. Ang katabi mong yan ay isang hari din. Gusto mo sabihin, si Pastor Junel ay hari, si Sister Mar- Mar- Marlene ay isang uh, princess. Yes, because in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, ang sabi po dito, but you are a chosen generation. Come on, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, His own special people that you may proclaim the praises of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. Tingnan mo nga ang katabi mo. Yan, payat-payatan lang yan. Ay, hindi pala tumabas sa pandemic. Hari yan. Princess yan. Because in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6, Ang sabi dito, and he raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 6, nice kung makita nito. And he has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Sino dito yung naniniwala na ang ating Diyos ay King of Kings? Kapag sinabing King siya, siya yung hari natin. Pero bakit King of Kings? Because merong small K. You and I, we are the kings and the priests today. Amen. Parang Haring David ka sa panahon na ito. And believe me, the Lord has declared that the followers of Jesus Christ are anointed kings. Amen. You are a king. Pero alam niyo po ba that even kings pwede silang manghina? Kahit ikaw, anointed king ka, pwede kang maranas, makaranas ng kahinaan. And what a contrast. 
Yung meron kang royal blood in your vein, pero sumasablay ka. Yung meron kang authority ng Panginoon sa buhay mo, pero pumapalpak ka. We call those weaknesses. But did you know that weakness and divine strength, they stand together. It doesn't matter kung weak ka o strong ka kapag nasa kamay ka ng Panginoon. May pandemic man, meron mang krisis sa buhay mo, may problema ka sa pera, walang nangyari sa iyong buhay sa panahon na ito. You are still on the hand of God because though I'm weak, yet He is strong in my life. Huwag mong kakalimutan kapatid na ikaw sa panahon ng pandemya, ikaw pa rin ay malakas. Amen. Because God's greatest purposes, they happen in the lowest time of your life. Because His greatest marvels in your life, they happen when you are in utter weakness. Pag nandiyan ka sa pinakamababa, kapag ang gulong ng buhay ay nasa baba, dun makakagalaw ang Panginoon sa buhay mo. Kapag meron kang nararamdam na masama, kapag ikaw ay nasasaktan, offended ka, that is where the Lord can be strong in your life. Kaya mga kapatid, be encouraged today. May encourage ka mga pastora. Kahit 75 ka na, kahit senior ka na, in your weakness, God is made strong in your life. Everybody say amen to that. As long as you stay in the presence of God, as long as you stay in the church, in the right environment, kahit magkamali ka, kahit magkasala ka, pero hindi ko po pinupush na magkasala mga Kristiyano. Kahit ikaw ay manghina, maniwala ka kapatid, you are still anointed. Hinirang ka pa rin ng Panginoon. Tinawag ka pa rin ng Panginoon. Today lang yan. Because your tomorrow will always be better than today. The best is yet to come for El Shalom and City Sanctuary. Sa business mo, sa trabaho mo, God has a greater purpose for you. He will open gates of blessings ngayon 2021. You may be weak in 2020, but God is strong in 2021 over your life. Amen. Sige, kung naniniwala ka, palakpan mo si Lord at sabihin mo, weak but strong. Hallelujah. For a very long time, 14 years, ako po ay nawala sa simbahan. That was the weakest time of my life. Ako po'y naging alibugang anak. Ako po nasira ang aking buhay. But in 2005, in the time of my weakness, I understood that God has called me. Sa panahon na nangihina ako, sa panahon na nagkasala ako, alam mo yun, Tita Ria, pag-uwi ako dun sa Villa Victoria, mahaba ang buhok ko, adik na adik ang itsura ko. But even in the time of my weakness, I know God has called me. And for some of you here, na nangihina ka at nafe-feel mo na wala ng pag-asa ang buhay mo, na ikaw ay tumaligo na sa Panginoon, you are still called by God. Hindi ka niya tinitignan na ikaw ay walang kwetang tao. Ang tingin ng Panginoon sa iyo, anak ka pa rin niya. And you are still anointed as long as you stay in the hands of God. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. In the book of Psalm 73, I like this particular passage. Ginamit ko po ito last week. This is the Psalm of Asap. Everybody say the name Asap. In verse 2, ang sabi po ni Asap sa Psalm 73, But as for me, I almost lost my footing. Tingnan niyo itong verse na ito ha. Kasi merong mga nakaupo ngayon dito. Ikaw yun. I almost lost my footing. My feet were sleeping. Padulas ka na o nadudulas ka na papunta sa mundo. And I was almost gone. Pabackslide ka na. Hindi kita masisisi. E wala nga church na in-person gathering yung kinaugalian natin for nine months. Hindi, hindi kita masisisi kasi hindi ka naman sanay sa digital eh. Though dapat ngayon marunong na tayo. But the truth is, some of us, you are almost gone. Bakit? 
Bakit halos mawala na si Asap? Verse 3, For I envied the proud when I saw them prosper despite their wickedness. Parang ganito yon. Bakit yung kapitbahay ko, ang yaman nila, eh salbahi naman. Yan ang kinao-offend ni Asap. Alam nyo, lahat tayo dito, may kanya-kanya tayong mga offenses. May kanya-kanya tayong mga nararamdaman sa puso. Bakit, Lord? Bakit bakit pinaglalaroan nyo ba kami para mga pusa kami? Ngayon ba na time ng pandemic? Gusto mo lang pagpapakainin mo kami, papakainin mo kami. Pag hindi, hindi. Somebody in this place, you can ask God about that. At sabi ni Asap, sa verse 16, So I tried to understand why the wicked prosper. But what a difficult task it is. Have you ever asked that? Bakit sana nung bata ako, pinanganak ako, anak ako ni Henry C. Diba? Yung mga ganun, diba? Kaming may-ari ng SM. Sana nung pinanganak ako, anak ako ni Gokong Wei. Diba? Yung maliit ang mata ko, basta mayaman ako. Sino ting mga nakaisip na ng ganyan? Ako nakaisip ng ganyan eh. Umamin na kayo mga kapatid. Lalo na pag wala kayong pera, wala kayong pang load, sana an- anak ako ni Steve Jobs, di ba? At least libre yung apple ko. But the psalmist said, In my weakness, sa panahon na nagtatanong ako, bakit may sakit ako? Sa panahon na nagtatanong ako, bakit may COVID-19? Sa panahon na hindi ko maintindihan ang lahat-lahat sa mundong ito, verse 17 says, Then I went into the sanctuary, into your sanctuary, O God. And I finally understood the destiny of the wicked. Ngayon, nandito ka sa tahanan ni Lord. Yung hindi mo maiint- naiintindihan sa buhay. Yung mga tanong mo, bakit ganyan ang nangyayari? The Lord will clear your mind because the presence of the Lord is right here in this place. Everybody say, Amen! In the courts of the Lord, in the sanctuary, magkakaroon ka ng linaw sa iyong kaisipan. Ang puso may babagoy ng Panginoon. At sasabihin mo, I am weak God, but yet, I am anointed. Hallelujah. There are so many people in the Bible na sila po ay nagkaroon ng pangihina sa pananampalataya. Great men of God, Elijah, katatapos lang niyang mag, you know, magpabagsak ng apoy, suddenly discouraged siya. Many people lost their faith. Even anointed kings are still oppressed. na oppress sila. Now listen to me, my friends. It doesn't matter kung nakaranas ka ng pangihina. Ikaw pa rin ay hinirang ng Panginoon. Come on, get that in your spirit. It doesn't matter kung nanghina ka at ikaw ay nawalan ng gana sa buhay. Ikaw pa rin ay hinirang ng Panginoon. It doesn't matter kung ang, ang iyong katawan ay nangihina sa araw na ito, ikaw pa rin ay hinirang ng Panginoon. For King David, in this particular story, makikita natin na siya po ay nasa isang sitwasyon na magiging hari siya ng buong Israel. That is a new position, that is a new opportunity, it is a new place, isang bagong lugar sa kanya. Alam niyo po ba, na itong pandemya na ito, this is something new bago sa atin to. Hindi ito yung nakaugalian natin na nag-church tayo, pag nag-church ka sa, pag Sunday, malakas ka, at pag uwi mo, may isang linggo ka, na ikaw ay pinagpala ng Panginoon, may cell group ka pa. But the truth is, today, for the past nine months, you felt weak because of something new. Come on. When new things come, sometimes mafe-feel mo na hindi hindi ko kaya yan. You know, may changes sa buhay. And merong mga bagong gagawin. I am too weak for that. And then the Lord will tell you, it doesn't matter if you are weak because I am strong in your life. When you're in your farthest weakness in your life, I made you strong and I make my strength perfect in you. Amen. Sino po dito yung nararamdaman mo na kailangan mong mensahe na ito? Sino dito yung nagsasabing, Lord, ito yung tamang mensahe sa akin. Because it is possible 
to be with two things, yung dalawang bagay. Okay? Ano yon? Pwede kang manghina, pero ikaw pa rin ay tinalaga. Did you hear me? Pwede na ikaw ay nangihina, but you will still reign with Christ. Pwede na ikaw ay tinamaan ng pandemic, but you are still reigning with Jesus Christ. Pwede nakamask ka ngayon, naka-face shield ka pa, but inside that mask and that face shield is the strength of the Lord in your life. This world may seem weak, but there is a contrast. Nagkasala ka, nalaglag ka, tumayo ka. Bakit? Ang Panginoon pa rin ang kalakasan ng buhay mo. Ang totoo po, ngayon time ng pandemic, dahil sa pagkakulong ng maraming mga tao, marami po ang nag-commit ng fornication, adultery, nahulog sa maling mga relasyon. May mga nangyari sa buhay ng mga Kristiyano na kahit po ang kanilang pananalapi ay nawala, nasira kanilang mga business. I myself, nagsarado po o walang, wala yung, walang business yung isa pong company namin. But listen to this, my friends. In the Bible, okay, and in the kingdom of God, it is always contrast, kabaligtaran. When you are poor, you are rich. When you are weak, you are strong. That is the kingdom of God. And if you believe, my friends, joy will turn, you know, sorrow will turn into joy. And if there is a storm, there will be peace. Yan ang kaharihan ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. Sino dito yung na-encourage ka? I'm gonna give you a word from the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Ano po sinasabi ng word of God sa 12 verse 10? Tignan po natin. Sabi po dito, Therefore, I take, ano daw? Pleasure. In what? Infirmity, sakit. In reproaches, in needs, pangangailangan. In persecutions, in distresses. For what? For Christ. Sake, for when I am weak, I am strong. Bakit na isulat ni Apostol Pablo to? Because he's like saying, sa panahon na may COVID-19, hindi kailangan hintayin mawala to para ako ay magiging malakas sa Panginoon. I don't have to leave this valley. I don't have to pass through this trial. I don't have to go on the other side Kung sa panahon na meron akong weakness, hindi ko na hayaan pa na mawawala to bago ako magiging matagumpay sa aking buhay. Apostle Paul, nagbigay siya ng time. In this time na merong sakit, in this time na may pandemic, in this time na may dilemma, trials, and when you're feeling defeated, yung parang talunan ka na ikaw ay beat up and beaten, sabi ni Apostle Pablo, yes, I am weak, but I am strong. Yes, you are weak, but the anointing is in your life. Yes, nagkamali ka, but God is the strength of my life. Because when you understand who you are and who your God is, then hindi ka matatakot sa panahon na merong pagsubok. Everybody say amen to that. And the enemy wanted to steal the joy inside of you. The enemy, gusto niya na lahat ng inumpisahan ni Lord sa buhay mo ay mawawala. Pero nais ko po sabihin sa inyo, that though you are weak, you are anointed. That though you are weak, you are strong. And number three, though you are weak. You are a child of God. Hallelujah. Sabihin mo nga sa sarili mo, I am a child of God. Tinamaan man ako ng COVID-19. For example, ang sabi ng isang tao, I am still a child of God. Tinamaan man ang aking pananalapi, I am still a child of God. Come on. Humanakakaranas ka man ng krisis sa buhay mo ngayon. You are still a child of God. Don't let the enemy steal your identity that you are a child of God. Huwag mong hayaan na sabihin ng sa'yo, wala ka na, wasak na ang buhay mo. 
wala nang mangyayari sa iyo yung trabaho mo na walang ka ng trabaho and you know what ang sagot ni Lord it doesn't matter if you don't have work today you're still my child I am your provider it doesn't matter kung merong nangyari sa pamilya mo I am still your God you are my child wala kang dapat ipangamba Amen Some of you, you lost your footing. Pa backslide ka na. Paalis ka na sa church. But let me tell you, don't do that. Because whenever you are in the environment of God in your life, you are still a child of God. Huwag mong hayaan na ang Diablo sasabihin niya sa'yo, ikaw, hindi ka anak ng Panginoon. The truth is, hindi naman kukunin ni Lord ng Diablo, I may say, yung identity mo. Hindi naman niya sasabihin, hindi ka anak ni Lord. The only thing He wants to do is for you to realize na wag mong gamitin yung identity mo. Then you will lose in this time of pandemic. But let me tell you, though I'm weak, I am a child of God. Everybody say, I am a child of God. Amen. Your flesh may be weak, but the one inside of you is greater. Amen. May, my flesh may be weak, but God's strength is in my life. Kaya mga kapatid, pinadala ako ni Lord sa umagang ito para sabihin ko sa inyo, live out your identity. Anak ka ni Lord. Kahit ano pa ang mga naranasan mo sa panahon ng pandemic, you are still blood wash child of God your the hand of God is still in your life and the covenant of his word is still upon you even ang buong mundo na ito ay pawasak na and as I end today I know some of you meron kang today ng buhay mo I don't know exactly what is your today ano ba yung today mo Ubus na ba ang bigas? Wala na bang pera? Hirap ka na ba sa buhay? May nangyari ba sa pamilya mo? If that is your today, I want to go back into the life of Asap. And I want you to get this. Stand on your feet with me. Psalm 73. Tignan natin yung verse 21. A very powerful word. Ang sabi po ni Asap, he was in his weakest moment. Ang dami niyang katanungan. Ang dami niyang, bakit? Bakit ganito sa church? Bakit ganito sa pamilya ko? Bakit? Yung mga wicked, sila pa ang yumayaman. Maybe you have an argument today. May mga katanungan ka sa puso mo na hindi mo alam na ito pala ay naninira na sa'yo. I want you to learn from Asap. In verse 21 of Psalm 73, the Bible says, Then I realized that my heart was bitter. Mapait na palang sinapit ni Asap. And I was all torn, torn up inside. Wasak ka na pala sa loob. Ang tawag dito, lockdown syndrome. Yung for nine months, nanunood ka lang sa TV, nanunood ka lang sa, sa live, live natin sa FB. But there are so many questions inside of you. And maybe you're torn up. Sabi ni Asa, I was so foolish and ignorant. I must have seemed like a senseless animal to you. Are you ready? Verse 23. Yet, hallelujah, I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to my to a path 
called glorious destiny. Whom have I, whom have I, whom have I in heaven but you? I desire you more than anything on earth. At ang sabi po ni Asap, my health may fail, magka-COVID man ako, and my spirit may grow weak, but God remains the strength of my heart. He is mine forever. Those who desert Him will perish, for you destroy those who abandon you. Verse 28, this is my rema. But as for me, how good it is to be near you. How good it is to be in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. May weakness ka. May mga questions ka sa buhay mo. But in your weakness, His strength is made perfect. May problema ka sa pamilya mo. May problema ka sa pananalapi ngayon. And you have so many questions. Bakit ako merong may diabetes ako? Bakit, bakit may cancer ako? Bakit nangyayari ito sa aking anak? You may have all the questions in the world. You might be David today. But listen to me. Though I'm weak, I'm still anointed. Though I'm weak, I'm still a child of God. Though I'm weak, I am still strong. Lift your hands to the Lord right now. And sing that song from your heart. And say, Lord, let the weak say I'm strong. Let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am weak, rich. of God is in this place and now come on allow the Holy Spirit to move in your life isang lalaki at babae na nagkaroon ka ng today. Today, I am weak. It's okay. It's okay not to be okay because you are still a child of God. I want you to put your hand on your heart. Lord, yung bitterness, yung mga katanungan, na hindi nasagot. Lord, yung mga sama ng loob, yung mga offenses na naranasan ng aking mga kapatid for the last nine months, they've been torn apart. They were bitter. Somehow, the Bible says, and Asap said, I've been foolish and I was ignorant. Yet, I want to declare this to you. You still belong to God. His right hand is upon you. He will guide you with counsel, leading you to His glorious destiny. Father, tugunin mo ang lahat ng weaknesses ng iyong mga anak. I don't know exactly. Maybe right now, nakakabawi ka na, but there is still something inside of you. Maybe somehow ngayon, parang okay ka na, but deep inside you, there is bitterness. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of the Lamb. I plead the blood of Jesus mula sa iyong ulo hanggang sa talampakan mo. Tanggapin mo ang paghihilom ng banal na spirito. Tanggapin mo ang kamay ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Because in your weakness, His strength 
is made perfect. Sige, taas mo kamay mo kay Lord. And I want everybody to just lift up your voices and say, And now, God, let the weak say, I am strong. Lord, tulungan mo ang aking pamilya. Lord, tulungan mo kami makaahon sa kahirapan sa panahon ng pandemya. They may say we are poor, but God, we are rich because of the heavenly blessings. Come on, receive right now. Receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive once again the anointing of God in your life. Receive once again the strength that is coming from above. Oh, hallelujah. Receive prosperity in every area of your life. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has done. natin ang ating hari yung pinakamalakas na palakpak kay Lord na siya ang ating lakas Amen I am declaring that today you receive divine strength once again you are a child of God you are strong and you are anointed in Jesus name we pray and every God's people say Amen and Amen. Come on, let's worship Jesus. Hallelujah! Sino po sa inyo ngayon ang talagang na-recharge, napalitan yung lungkot, ng kagalahan? Amen! Woo! Go, sing it out. Sing
Iwahiwalay ngayong umaga, uh, atin tanggapin ang salita ng Diyos. No? Ibig sabihin, sasabihin natin yung I receive pagkatapos ng mga words na ibibigay ko sa inyo. Hallelujah. This morning, as we part ways temporarily, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and He be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you His peace. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all in the name of Jesus. I receive. Hallelujah. Palakpan natin si Lord. God bless us all. Child of God, thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in to our online cell celebration today. If you enjoyed today's topic, do not forget to click the like and share button. We highly encourage you to spread the word of God throughout the web. are not subscribed yet, click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook pages and Instagram accounts. We also would like to connect with you. If there is anything you want to ask or pray for, feel free to message us. Tune in again on our next online cell celebration next Sunday at 10 a.m. Make sure to invite your family and friends. God bless you and have a great week ahead.